I am Ronnie Manna of class 11 and I am reading from the book Thoughts of Power page number 42 For the next 50 years this alone shall be our keynote this our great mother India let all other vain gods disappear for the time from our minds this is the only god that is awake our own race everywhere his hands everywhere his feet everywhere his ears he covers everything all other gods are sleeping what vain gods shall we go after and yet cannot worship the god that we see all around us the virat when we have worshiped this we shall be able to worship all other gods jai swami ji reading from swami ji's my india the india eternal by somika das class 8 page number 101 The real spiritual man is broad everywhere his love forces him to be so those to whom religion is a trade are forced to become narrow and mischievous by the introduction into religion of the competitive fighting and selfish methods of the world jai swami ji reading from pearls of wisdom by rohan nashkar page number 15 there is no limit to man's desires he goes on desiring and when he comes to a point where desire cannot be fulfilled the result is pain jai swami ji i am shriti maithi and i am reading from the book rebuild india by swami vivekanand page number 49 india will be raised not with the power of the flesh but with the power of the spirit not with the flag of destruction but with the flag of peace and love the garb of the sanyasin not by the power of wealth but by the power of the begging ball jai swami ji reading from swami ji's my india the india eternal by surit samanta of class 10 page number 150 bread bread i do not believe in a god who cannot give me bread here giving me eternal bliss in heaven poo india is to be raised the poor are to be fed education is to be spread and the evil of priest craft is to be removed no priest craft no social tyranny more bread more opportunity for everybody jai swami ji my name is ashtana choudhary i study in class 4 reading from the book swami vivekananda life and teaching page number 94 struggle is the sign of life jai swami ji reading from swami ji is my india the india eternal i am aritra samanta of class 10th page number 30 i consider that the great national sin is the neglect of the masses and that is one of the causes of our downfall no amount of politics would be of any avail until the masses in india are once more well educated well fed and well cared for they pay for our education they build our temples but in return they get kicks they are practically our slaves if we want to regenerate india we must work for them jai swami ji i am astha choudhary i am from class 5 reading from the book swami vivekananda life and teachings page number 115 all weakness all bondage is imagination do not weaken stand up and be strong that is all the religion i know jai swami ji my india the india eternal by swami vivekananda i am anku samanta class 5 page number 96 the only true duty is to be unattached and to work as free beings to give up all work unto god all our duties are his jai swami vivekananda reading from swami ji is my india the india eternal i am ankush shashmal from class 10 page number 94 that love which a man has for his beloved can illustrate the love we ought to have for god 
Krishna is the God and Radha loves him. But how many understand this? How can people who are vicious to their very core and have no idea of what morality is understand all this? When people drive all sorts of worldly thoughts from their mind and live in a clear moral and spiritual atmosphere, it is then that they understand the abstractest of thoughts even if they be uneducated. But how few are there of that nature? Jai Swamiji.